And let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and like of the Holy Like priests Spirit. across the country this past week, this Father year, Michael Notek of Germany Chicago's St. John de La Salle Parish has absorbed the latest round of bad news like a heavy blow soul. to the soul. You know, a lot of people are very discouraged by that. Um, and that's the reason why a lot of people left the church. He's speaking of the damning stacks of court exhibits documenting the abuse of predator priests. Most recently, that of the late Father Lawrence Murphy in Wisconsin back in the 1960s at a school for deaf boys. Documents the victims say leave a long and shameful trail. At victims attorney, point, Jeff Anderson. At all trails involving the cover-up and the concealment of sexual abuse by Catholic clerics lead to Rome and the Pope. The disclosures, which ran last month in the New York Times, are having a corrosive effect. A new CBS News poll finds only 27% of American Catholics view Pope Benedict XVI favorably now. 55% give him poor marks for the way he's dealt with the priest abuse scandal. But addressing the Wisconsin episode in Milwaukee last week, Archbishop Jerome Listecki said the blame lies elsewhere. The mistakes were made here in the Archdiocese of Milwaukee in the 70s, in the 80s, in the 90s, by the church, by civil authorities, by church officials, and by bishops. It's a defense the Cardinals of New York and Boston have embraced, while other supporters have hinted of ulterior motives at work. Raymond Flynn is a former ambassador to the Vatican. Somehow they want us to be embarrassed about being a Catholic on Easter Sunday. I, I think that's, it's intentional, I think it's purposeful, and, and I think it has to stop. The latest disclosures and their whiff of papal complicity could derail a new campaign to draw Catholics back to their church. If you've been away from the Catholic Church, we invite you to take another look. At St. John de La Salle, Father Notek saw a 7% increase in church attendance. Now he's worried that this latest wave of bad publicity will erase even those modest gains. His own brother was molested by a priest decades ago, and Father Notek had to fight to regain his faith. He knows how hard it will be for others to do the same. 20 years ago, a priest would walk down the street of any major city, and people would say, good afternoon, Father. They hardly ever do that anymore.